Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Being in debt is generally not a great thing in real life, but today I will tell you why it is almost never a problem in Rollercoaster Tycoon 2. Most scenarios allow you to borrow money from the bank which you can use to build more rides. Doing this is almost always a good investment and it is rarely worth it to pay it back. The first reason for that is that your financial situation doesn't matter when you beat a scenario. You can have a small loan of a million dollars that you haven't paid back yet, but as soon as you hit the requirements for the goal that doesn't matter. The one exception is the scenario goal that requires you to pay back the loan, in which case you will have to pay it back eventually. Because you don't need to pay back the loan at the end, the only money you spend on the loan is the interest. Every scenario has a certain interest rate, which is rarely above 20% per year. Most scenarios have a duration of 4 years or less, so we can calculate the upper ceiling of how much we pay in most situations. If we take a 20% interest rate over 4 years, you will pay back 80% of the loan. In other words, even in one of the worst case scenarios, you still have 20% of your loan left at the end, which is free money. Let's take Crazy Castle as an example. The maximum loan is 35,000 and it has an interest rate of 5%, which is very common. Even if you take out your entire loan at the very start, you will only pay 7000 euros in interest back over the 4 years that the scenario takes to complete. With the other 28000, you can build several rides that can easily make you more than those 7000 euros of interest by the end of the scenario. Paying back a part of your loan halfway the scenario is also often a bad idea. For every 1000 euros you pay back, you save 50 euros per year with that 5% interest rate. Spending that 1000 on a flat ride or a few shops will most likely earn you way more than those 50 euros you would have saved. Now this doesn't mean that you should immediately take out your entire loan at the start of the scenario. If the money is sitting unused in your bank account you are just wasting it on interest. What I mean with this is that whenever you need more money it's rarely a bad idea to take out a bigger loan. Do be aware of scenarios with crazy high interest rates though, as there it's not always a good idea. Also, all the numbers I just said are wrong. Yes, the game says that you pay 5% interest per year in Crazy Castle, but that's not actually true. Let's say we have a 16,000 euro loan. 5% of 16,000 is 800 and with 8 months in a year we should pay 100 euros a month in interest. However, when we let the game run for a full month we can see that we actually only pay 97 euros and 60 cents. What could be causing this small but real difference? The answer is the way that the assembly programming language works. I'm no expert, but as I understand it, in assembly, doing division by a number that is a power of 2 is much faster than a division by any other number. Therefore, Chris Sawyer used powers of 2 everywhere he could. You can see this whenever I talk about penalties for things like write stats or guest generation. They always get divided by 2, 4, 8 or 16. Let's see how this limitation plays into the calculation for how much you should pay every time you pay interest. The first thing that the code does is multiply your current loan with the interest rate. For our crazy castle example this is 16,000 times 5 which is 80,000. Now this number needs to be divided by some factor to get the correct payment. You pay interest 4 times a month so there are 32 payments a year meaning we need to divide by 32. In addition to that we also need to divide by 100 to correct for the 5% that we multiplied with instead of 0.05. So in total we need to divide by 3200 to get the amount we need to pay per interest payment. This is not a power of 2 and it is quite far removed from the closest one. 
The next best option is to multiply by some number and then divide by a bigger power of 2 to approximate a division by 3200. This is exactly what Chris Sawyer did. The 80,000 we got is first multiplied by 5 and then divided by 2 to the power 14 or 16,384. This essentially divides the number by 3276.8, so it's close but not exactly right. Doing the actual calculation reveals that we pay 24 euros and 40 cents per payment, or 97 euros and 60 cents per month. This is indeed what we saw earlier and it is 2.4% less than the 100 we were supposed to pay. So in reality taking out a loan is even slightly more beneficial than it seemed at first. I find this an incredibly interesting example of how the limits of computers 25 years ago influenced how games were made. This method is slightly inaccurate but also faster and the speed was, probably rightfully so, deemed more important. And that was everything about the loan and interest and why going into severe debt is often a good idea. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.